There has long been an uh, outstanding argument uh, among naturalists uh, whether uh, light is a wave or a particle. And um, that was finally settled and uh, people agreed on that it was a wave. And this hold true until the uh, early 20th century when uh, Einstein um, said that light is a particle. So um, this contributed to the confusion in the um, early 20th century about what um, light and in the extension matter is uh, made of and um, um, it was accepted that, that um, light was a um, particle because um, the, there was a problem at the end of the 19th century uh, that remained to be solved, remained in quotation mark, remained to be solved in physics. The mentality of, um, of uh, scientists at, at the end of the 19th century was that uh, physics was more or less solved and then there was a, a few small problems left which I just had to um, figure out and once I figured it out then they knew it all. That was kind of the mental state among physicists uh, at the end of the 19th century. One of those problems is called the, um, um, the ultraviolet catastrophe. And basically, if you <coughs> the, the, the problem is uh, uh, as such. Uh, think about an oven. And um, that oven here, you, you start to heat up inside. Uh, and you make it warmer and warmer and warmer and warmer. And uh, as you know, if you have um, an oven, the, 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 the elements, the heating elements in, inside an oven, uh, they start to glow. First they start to glow a little bit orange, and then they become um, uh, red, and then yellow. And if you continue this, they become... Uh, uh, <laughs> If you would, con I don't think there is an oven that hot, but if you continue, it will become white, and then um, it will uh, become. Um, if you go even further, it will become ultraviolet. So uh, what I'm saying is like, like you have uh, uh, red light, and then you have uh, um, orange uh, light, and then you have. Uh, yellow light and then you have uh, blue light and then you have uh, ultraviolet light and here you have the uh, infrared light as everybody knows infrared is heat you could use uh, infrared to to heat up infrared uh, elements to to heat up for instance when you are in a terrace or uh, if you're in a restaurant there where you get um, uh, uh, heating when it's a little bit colder outside um, and um, um, the, the thing is that uh, this is uh, lower energy and this is higher energy and the, the, the problem the physicists had with this oven was that um, it <laughs> basically it should, be, according to their equation, it should explode. If, if you continue to heat it up, it should explode. That, that was the problem they had. So um, uh, when you heat something up, it means that you, you walk through these uh, uh, colors uh, the the lower here is uh, also it's not only lower it's lower energy but it's also lower uh, free 
free when see little yeah free frequency lower frequency and this is higher frequency uh, energy is directly related to frequency so the higher frequency you have the more energy you have in it so I if this is low f a wave with a low frequencies here and this is a wave with high frequency this is higher energy and you could think about it like, like each of these peak stops is a little bit of energy and if you have in the same if this is a lower so if you have more peaks in the same interval you have more energy there so you could say like this is kind kind of an amount of energy and it's the same for each peak so this would mean that it's like three times more energy there because it's it's the frequency is, is um, uh, three times higher eh? It's, it's not exactly how it works, but it gives you an intuitive feeling what's going on. So the prediction was that when, when, when you start to heat it up, the frequency of the light that comes out goes up. So they made a plot like this, which says like, like, like here, here is room temperature and there is a little energy. And then as you start to heat it up, the energy will increase like this. Eh? This was what they said. That's what the calculation said. Eh? However, and, and this means that this this is going to run away uh, unlimited upwards. And <laughs> and if you have if you have a lot of energy in a small area, it means you have a bomb. That's what it means. So this should this should actually this should explode. Eh? This should, uh, but but it, it doesn't, it doesn't explode. Eh? What what actually happened is is this. If you measure the so, this thing here, on this here is the free quens, and this here is energy. energy so at, at at low let's say this is uh, where you're baking your dinner the energy here is like uh, let's say 200 degrees or something eh? at that temperature when you have like a, a yellow light coming out there but then it's going up in the ultraviolet and and that means that the energy released from the light should go up like a curve like this but when you actually test test this prediction made by by the equation it turns out to not be this curve but it turns out to be like this instead and this i didn't understand why why, why is this eh? and um uh, 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 they they finally solved it by by um by realize that uh, uh, light or more precisely electromagnetic uh, uh, waves they are quant quanta no quantas they come in chunks now if if you if you heard uh, so th this is interesting and Einstein was then able to formulate uh, uh, this uh, and uh, let's see was it that he got Nobel Prize for uh, I think it was for I think it was that he, he got the N uh, Nobel Prize in physics for <laughs> it's interesting because Einstein never got um, uh, the Nobel Prize um, for his uh, theory of uh, uh, relativity. I never got it, but he got uh, a Nobel Prize for other discoveries. He made a lot of discoveries. Eh? Anyway, let's check time. Yeah. Um,
so the so the, the physics was aware about that light was uh, a, a, a wave. It has all these uh, wave things, but it was quantized. Eh? And we've been talking about the two slits experiments, and I said that light is a wave. That's not technically correct, because light is quantized. What does that mean? That means if we have if we have our source here that sends out light to this uh, two slits thing here, light. Light is a wave, or, or that's the concept they have of it. it. That wave will hit the slits here, and will pass the slits. And um, since since it's a narrow thing, what happens is that light will bend out like this. Or well, we do it like this, and hit the screen. And on the screen. It will uh, cause an interference pattern, and uh, you should be familiar with this if you looked at my previous video, uh, observables and non-observables. Uh, now, <coughs> the thing is here that it said that light has uh, is uh, energy quantas. And uh, uh, because it was quantized, it's, it's, it solved this thing because it, it can only be released in certain quantas. And here, it's not quant in in this calculation that the physics made. It was not quantified. It means it could just li like indiscriminately uh, just send out uh, 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 light. But if light is quantized, it has to be sent out in chunks. Eh? And if 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 you don't have enough energy for that chunk it in quotation mark you have to wait until you have enough energy to send out that chunk of energy and the the more energy you need to pack into that chunk the the, the longer you have to wait as to say so here the, the 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 chunk of energy that needs to be sent out is very low so you could continuously send out that energy, so it looks like a continuous send, sending out a light here. But when you start to come up here, it starts to become so much energy, you have to say, so there becomes a little delay between when you can send out that chunk of energy. That means the rate of the rate at which energy is sent out at higher frequencies is lower. And that means that the, 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 the energy that you actually send out falls off. You, you get the idea here? So if, you, if, you have a, if, if this is plugged in to, to a power plant in the wall, the, the, this needs to be fed energy from somewhere. And that energy is pumped into the heating element. And if you need very little energy to send out or create your, your red light or, or orange light, that, that very little energy that comes in there, you can send it out immediately. But if you demand a lot of energy, then you have to like suck out a lot of energy here first to build up that ammo you need before you can send it out. Because light is quantized. It means there is a minimum amount of energy that you send out at each frequency, and each frequency of light has its own uh, energy. And as I said, frequency, the frequency determines the amount of energy. And the uh, the lower frequency you have, the lower amount of energy. The higher frequency you have, the higher amount of energy. So if you have very, 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 very high energy, maybe you need to sit one year here to pump in energy here before you can release it. And that's why it goes down to zero over here. Eh? So I, I hope you can intuitively understand why that curve has the form it has. It's because of light comes in quantas.